Hey guys, this is your friend Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on Tecla Structures. So friends, in today's video on Tecla Structures, we'll show you how to insert base plate in a model. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first of all, we'll create a small steel structure model and then we'll create the base plate. So let's see how to do that. So first of all, we'll click on the grid lines. We want a 4 into 4 uh, grid line. So we'll just, after clicking on it, we'll uh, just type 4000 and y coordinate also we'll just do as 4000 and the z coordinates we want a uh, zero as our foundation level and we'll make our particular plinth level as 1200 that is 1.2 meters and our ground floor slab level that is the first slab level as three meters of uh, it so it will be your particular uh, your 4200 so this is our level so we'll have two levels so we don't need c so there will be a and b and y will be one and two and z will be zero plus 1200 and it will be like plus 3000 can also uh, do it plus 4200 also to avoid any confusion okay so after that you can just click on modify and we are done so now we can just click on here and right click and then create view along the grid lines so just create the views and after having created the views uh, we can just find out which view we want to work on so let's work uh, in our plinth level so the plinth level is plus 1200 so we'll open that particular view and then we'll click on ok and then we'll go to window and tile the two windows vertically so this is our plinth level and here let's insert some steel columns we'll uh, select column from here you can uh, just select any uh, particular profile for your steel columns uh, we are working in the Indian environment you can uh, work on any environment which you want and you can change the profile of your steel so before starting I want to tell you we have launched for you a complete recorded course on G plus 3 building design using Tecla Textual Designer in which all the aspects of your planning structural design and making the final structural drawing sheet will be covered and in this course we'll also include two live demonstrations and two doubt clearing sessions for you so what are you waiting for hurry up and you can contact the number which has been given here and also you can register using the link which has been given in the description let's say we'll go with ismb 300 and after that uh, we'll just change the top and the bottom of the column so top of the column will be your 4200 and the bottom of the column can be zero so after that we can just we have to expand it so we can just pick the points in which we want to assign our columns so after having you know assigned our columns we can just click on escape or we can like right click and then click on interrupt so the columns have been created now let's create our beams for creating our beams we will go to our uh, concrete beams and we'll select from here to here and we'll select all the center points so after having done the steel beams at our plinth level uh, we can simply insert our base plate so inserting our base plate will go to the option of applications and components and search base plate here so we can apply this rectangular base plate here so for applying the rectangular base plate let's there are many ways but let's today do it in the 3d view so first of all uh, we want to click on the column in which we want to insert the base plate and then we can click on the position let's say this midpoint so the base plate plate has been created you can right click on it and interrupt and there is also a very important feature like if you want to uh, you know make this as solid you can press ctrl plus 4 and this would be solid and make them translucent you can press ctrl plus 2 so uh, you can simply right click on it and then you can uh, you have the option of your updating uh, the views so we'll click outside and right click on it and redraw view so after that you can just double click on it 
and after you double click on it we can change certain important uh, parameters let's say let's give the uh, you know thickness of the plate as 25 mm and uh, you can also change other parameters as per your preference we'll change some general parameters let's say we we'll, we want base plate with anchor rods so uh, we can select the type of the anchor rods which are going to use and we can give the other parameters as well if you want uh, your particular uh, anchor rods and as well as your uh, washer and bolts to visible you can select this option yes as you can see this option is showing the bolt this option is showing the washer so if you click on yes and if you click on modify so as you can see the washer and the bolts will be visible from here as well as the anchor bars now there are other properties also you can change you can add extra plates you can change the properties of the bolts also you can change the diameter of the bolt let's say 16 mm and you can change uh, you know these things also like if you want to uh, let's see the visible uh, changes here if you want to change the number to let's say uh, 3 and click on modify you can see that we can increase or decrease the spacing here let's say we want three bolts at a spacing of let's say 150 and you can click on modify and as you can see this is the base plate so let's give it let's say 200 modify and then here also you can uh, change this particular thing let's say if you uh, do it as uh, three at a spacing of 50 and click on modify you can also have these bolts here so like that you can uh, change the uh, number of bolts using this and then click on uh, apply and then click on ok so like this you can apply the base plate and you can also change the number and type of bolts and also the connections so friends we'll come up with more such video hope you found this video useful for more such videos stay tuned to our channel bye bye